Anyone work quick, yeah? Yeah, go on then. I'm just going to us. Dirty, Mo. Not when I've washed them. This is my bedroom. And mine. Not a rubbish dump. Get all this stuff up here now. I'm busy. What are you doing? Don't take my treasure. You find the trash away when I'm finished. Go, no, Tyler. No, 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 Tyler. No. Give it back, Tyler. Please. You clean that rubbish away soon. Just been here. Another chance, it's only been a couple of days. Mike, seriously, do you want to share with the weirdo who empties dustbins into your room? <sighs> My treasure, it's gone everywhere. Don't worry, we'll get it all back. Are you not going to help, Electra? I would, but I don't want to. Then do it. You are done. Oh, thanks for your help, guys. Now, Mo. You have to promise me that you won't bring any more rubbish into the house. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. And you have to keep this stuff in the attic from now on. Mike, no. I want my treasure in my room. I'm sorry, there's too much of it. I don't want my treasure in the attic. Really? But the attic is where we keep all the dumping ground treasures. Electra's right, Mai. I'll show you when we take your stuff up. Hey. Still waging war on the pigeons, then? Mm-hmm. I am not gonna let them get the better of me. I wouldn't say that. Looking at the state of some of those cabbages. <laughs> Tyler wants his room back. What's more done now? He's been going through the rubbish in his bedroom. Right. I can't say that I blame Tyler. Moe's a sweetheart, but he tried the patience of a saint. So, where are we going to put him? These are some of Carmen's old baby clothes. Uh -huh. And these belong to Frank's granddad. And these are my brother Johnny's comics. His friend Toby gave them to him. See? Everyone keeps their treasures here. I like you. You're nice. But you and Tyler get on so well. And, and you've shared before. I've really got used to having my own room. Rick, if there was anything else we could do, we would. Oh, please. We'd be so grateful if you could help us out, huh? Grateful enough for an extra two hours a day on the computer. Half an hour for a week. Three quarters for a month. Half for a fortnight. Deal. If. You throw in an ice cream sweetener for everyone. What for? I'm getting used to Mo. Off a crying out loud. All right. All right. Here you are. But it's a thank you, not a bribe. Pleasure doing business with you. Come on, can you get some 
ice cream now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? I'm getting my own room. We know. Back off. I've never had my own room before. Hug. Leave me alone. Oh, give him a hug, Tyler. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Mo? Shh. Do you want to come for ice cream? Ants. Right, well, um, we're leaving now. Do you want to go and get the others? Oh, um, Electra was looking for something in the attic. Hey. Are you coming, Mo? I'm busy. Scarecrow for that. Well, we haven't got one. I'll build you one. Well, thanks, Mo, but I, I think we'll just go with this for now, yeah? Where are the ants going? On a big adventure. So why didn't you say you were just making a bracelet? Because they're Mo's beads, and even though they're worthless, it's still taking stuff without asking. Electra? You don't do girly bracelets, and these don't look like ordinary beads. Are you going to come clean, or do I have to get everyone up here? Tony, you up there? We're going! <sighs> Wish I had another one. Thanks for getting these, Rick. You going to give me a big hug? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! <laughs> you won't be laughing if you had to share it with him. Oh, come on, he's not that bad. I think he's funny. Yeah, I think he's really sweet. Here we go. What? Most harmless. He's just a bit eccentric. First Gina's mum, now Mo. You left the underdogs, didn't you? <laughs> Have you not met my sister, patron saint of lost causes? <laughs> <laughs> See how it's uneven? Mm. Now look how thin the hole is where the thread goes through. So? So, when they're real, they keep it small so they're not wasting pearl. And they thread it with silk. Mm. How'd you know all this? Because my mum didn't even do the gardening without my pearls. So, we put the necklace back together and flog it. We? Well, it'd be a shame if Mo found out about this. Hello? Oh, uh, sorry, we were just checking your treasure because a bag fell over. Oh, thank you. I, I came to get some for a big surprise I'm making. Good for you. Don't go in the telly room. You spoiled the surprise. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, I have built you a... I help! <laughs> built you a very special surprise. Ta-da! Treasure trail for ants. Those better not be my favourite. Stop it! He didn't mean any harm. What are you doing? 
I've been naughty. You don't have to stand in the corner. But everyone's cross with me. Well, that's because you've been in their rooms and taken their things. So I'm opening my treasure trail. Yeah, I know. But you're not allowed in people's rooms when they're not there. And you never take their things unless you've asked. Can you remember that? I'd like to say a great big sorry to everyone. That's a great idea. But you're a bit sticky. So, let's hose you down, shall we? Not the hose. Please, Mike. Not the hose. No. No, 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 no. That, that, that's just a way of speaking. It means that you're going to go and have a shower in the bathroom. Yeah? Come on. Okay. I'm sorry, but Mo's got to be some sort of brain donor to do something like this. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? I mean, he thought he was doing something nice for us. Exactly. And what is nice about bringing an ant's nest into the house? I think you should cut Mo some slack. I hope you're going to follow that up with a really good reason. Mm. Mo's... Well, Moore's never lived in a place like this. Neither had we before we came here, but we still knew how to behave. I don't mean a care home, I mean... Ugh, never mind, never mind. Well, where was he? You know I don't discuss personal circumstances. Come on, carry on. <laughs> How much do you think we'll get for them? Depends on where they come from. Originally, it could be a few hundred quid. I'm going to get a smartphone. You? Electronic keyboard. You don't play the piano. You missed more surprise. Don't come in without knocking. What are you doing? Waiting for you to go. What are you making out those beads? A necklace. Mm -hmm. I'll help. Who's it for? Oh, no, it's a surprise. And tell him if it's like Moors. Why? What was it? Ants? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. And you're not to tell either, or you'll spoil it. I won't, if you let me help. <sighs> Calms. What do you reckon Gina meant when she said that Moe had never lived anywhere like this before? Uh, I don't know. Do you want to come to Lily's with me tomorrow, see how Jonah's doing? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Must have been somewhere really awful, though. Mm. Who cares where he lived before? Well, I do. It might help us to get to know him better. I know him as well as I want to. Well, you shouldn't be getting involved. Right, listen up, everybody, please. Mo has got something that he'd like to say to you all. I am this much sorry that I made you all cross. <laughs> and? I will never, ever go into your rooms and take your things again. <laughs> hey! Go on! Shoo! Go on! Ah. That pigeon is laughing at you! I can build you a scarecrow, Gina. I can! I, I think you've done enough building for one day, huh? Come on. Oh! Here you go. I can do it, Mike. It'll be the best scarecrow ever. I'm sure. It's a big job to do on your own, though, isn't it? Do you help me? Here comes your favourite underdog. I'd like you, please, to help me build a scarecrow for Gina. <laughs> I'm too tired, my. Not now, tomorrow. Oh, well, I can't. I'm going out of common. Oh. I'm, I'm in bed. I just wanted to ask you... I know what you were asking. She's going to help you? She's going out. Off you go. Into bed. I'll be up in a minute. Night, everyone. Especially T. <laughs> T. He is driving me up the wall about this scarecrow. Will you give him a hand? After the ant treasure trail. I can't let him loose without supervision. I'm going to Lily's tomorrow. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, but you can always come another time. It's fine. Here you go. Will you help me? It's you we want. Give you a chance to get to know him better. Come on, T. It would do his confidence the world of good. 
Okay, fine. Brilliant. You'll be thrilled. Oh, I have a nice day tomorrow, too. Friend! <laughs> I've done the scarecrow plan. I'll look at it in the morning. But I'm here now. Yeah, and you shouldn't be. And don't ever come in my room without knocking first. Sorry, T. Sorry, sorry, but I draw it especially. Look! No, go to bed. I will. As soon as you've had a look. Just a quick look. Please. I said no. All we need now is the other half of the class. There's only one bag left to look through, and I couldn't bear doing it last night. You might find a few more pearls in there too. You might. I went through two bags after you'd gone to bed. Yeah, but I threaded that lot. That's not the same as going through rubbish. But... <laughs> Is the necklace finished yet? You know my rules. Is that because you've lived here since you were a baby? No. Me and Johnny used to live with our mum. Did, did she die? She got a new boyfriend who didn't really like us very much. Mum and his boyfriend's daddy. He likes me lots. She only likes me when I'm good. Must be hard for you, being away from them. Not as hard as being good all the time. Especially because I'm never bad on purpose. I miss my dad. I'm sure you'll be back with him soon. Well, the lady my teacher sent said I needed looking after better and they were looking down our shed. What's your shed got to do with it? We've got nowhere to live. You lived in a shed? Well, a man put electricity in it for us, but we had to go to the toilet in the bushes. Didn't really like that. Where's the last bag on the left? What do you mean? Electra and Georgie said to look in Mozart's bag on the left. Well, what for? It's a surprise. What are you doing? Building a scarecrow. I'm helping. She's been up there all morning. She obviously hasn't found it yet. There's only one bag of rubbish. Well, don't bed my ear about it and go find out. Fine. Okay, so if we finish up here and then we'll take him outside after lunch, yeah? Okay. Yep. What's going on? I haven't found it yet. Found what? Nothing. What are you doing? Building the scarecrow. Careful. Mind his leg. Be careful, you'll damage it. Stop squashing his head! Careful! Jodie, stop squashing his head! Do not! Just be careful! What are you doing? Taking the scarecrow outside. We're going to need some help getting him up. Come on. Yeah, hey, we'll help. Come on. Just be careful, he's fragile, yeah? Did you find it? I've been helping TMI. What? Go back up there while everyone's outside. Why don't you? Now we stand up. Thank you, Frank. Brandon. Go on then, Mo. I'll take your picture then. Mike can print it off. Yeah. Me and T. Come on. <laughs> OK. Hey, hey, watch me turn it. Sorry, Gina. Ready? Say cheese. 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 <laughs> Well? And one for tea. Oh, all right, hold your horses. There we go. Wow, you and T made a wonderful scarecrow. Floss and Jodie helped. T did most. She's my best friend. Did you find it?
I've got us one each. Thanks. Let's go and put them up in our rooms. You go. I'll do mine later. Oh, help! I don't need any help. So, uh, what should we play now? Nothing. I'm watching TV. No! Get off! How's Lily's? Yeah, it was good, thanks. Look, I've got some great new photos of Jonah. Oh, can I see? No, go away! Now who's being asked? Oh, he won't leave me alone. Well, just give him a thumb, that should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sit next to tea? Mo, it doesn't matter, Mo. Just go and sit over there. But I want to sit next to you. Please, Mo. Look, she doesn't want to sit next to you. Hey. She does. She's my best friend. Oh, poor Mo. Let him sit next to his best friend. No. Oh. Here you go, Mo. Oh, oh you best friend. What are you doing? You haven't put this up. But you're not allowed in here. And you put sticky tape on my wall. So you can see us with our scarecrow? Get out! But don't you like the picture? Out! They look really posh. Posh enough to get us a new smartphone and keyboard. Yeah. Take my photo! Wait, I... Haven't tied up the clasp yet. Help! I can't find it! T, help! What, Mo? Leave me alone. Come and help. It's for you. I thought of it in the night. What are you talking about? When he's necklace. Go away! But it's special. I was going to give it to you. But I don't want it. I can't find them. Tell Mike then. Help me look for them. No! But we're friends. Not anymore. We are, though. We, we built a scarecrow. You're nice to me. Right. You really want to see how nice I am? Do you? Yes. Help me look for them, please. T, it's in the attic. Look downstairs, it's in the attic, come back. See, stop. Where are you going? To teach you a lesson. What's going on? I'm sick of you hanging around me. But I like you. But I hate you. But don't say that. No, we're not. Is that tea? Get Mike. How is she? Not good. Oh. Well, she'll feel better once we've heard from the hospital. Unless it's brain damage. Well, I told her to thump him. I pushed them together. I still wouldn't share with him. You would scare the wound. But I could have been nicer about it. Well, if we'd all done more to help out, we could have taken the heat off tea. Moore hasn't got a fractured skull or internal bleeding. He's gonna be fine. I'll go tattoo. Uh, Johnny, just wait. Mike's bringing him back from hospital and we're finding him a foster family. Why? Well, he's had a complicated start in life and I think that we're all a bit too much for him. Mike's told him he's leaving. He's gonna blame himself. Look, this didn't have to end this way. Hands up everyone who had a complicated start in life.
That makes more one of us. Yeah? Yeah. It's all my fault. No, it isn't. I'm sorry I didn't help more with Mo. Yeah, I'm sorry that I told you to thump him. We shouldn't have left you to it. We're sorry. We do. Yeah, sorry, sorry too. too. Be alright. I still feel really bad about Mo. What kicked it off? He got himself in a state because he couldn't find a necklace he wanted to give me. Something to do with his granny's pearls. All right, Mom. I've got a badge. Oh. No. I don't want to leave. I'm just going to phone his social worker. Sort out an emergency placement. Could you just wait, please, and um, follow me? Yeah. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. Here you go, Frank. Ah! <laughs> you built him again. I am so proud of you, lot. Thank you all. Look. Mo, I'm really, really sorry about what happened. It was an accident. I know that. Is that your welcome home present? Welcome home? Am I staying? We'd like to stay. Yeah. I heard you'd lost six. Granny's pearls. What? A lovely necklace. It was for Mo. They're for you. No. I can't take your granny's pearls, Mo. You can. She's dead. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Mo, you can't force T to do things she doesn't want to do. I'm not trying to. I just want to say sorry and to know that we're friends. OK, then I'll take them. Thank you. Oh, you look oh, lovely. <laughs> Let's get another photo with the scarecrow, Mike. With everybody in it this time. Yeah. Right, come on then, guys. Right, come on, scarecrow. gather around the scarecrow, everybody, please. What did you give it to him for? Because I felt sorry for him. Didn't you? Electra, Jodie, you joining us? Oh, Jodie, not on the. Vi oh. <laughs> Your poor veg. Oh. It's worth it, yeah. Everybody say cheese! Oh. Everybody say mo! Mo!